my chicken. I got my egg batter over here. My flour over here. I'm gonna add some mustard to this last batch. I didn't put mustard on this batch or this batch, but I'm about to add mustard to this egg batter. This is just egg that's in here. And this chicken was already seasoned um, yesterday and it's been marinating all night. So I'm just about to squeeze mustard on here. Mix it all the way up. This chicken is so crispy. I already ate a piece. You dip it in the chicken in the egg, then back in the flour, then back in the egg, and put it in here. That's why you see all those bubbles. That's egg. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna get my hands dirty. Literally. Dip it in this egg and mustard. I still gotta put my scalloped potatoes, but that won't take long. This is what they wanted today. We just had chicken last night and the night before. Last night was leftovers. The night before, um, but it wasn't cooked by me. We went to Wingstop. So I had the garlic parmesan chicken tenders, as I always get. And they had um, lemon pepper wings and mild wings and fries. So you see that? Look at all that egg on there. And this is exactly how you do it. I know it don't sound like my chicken is frying. This is my messed up special needs eye. I have to keep turning it off and up and down every now and then. That's all like egg. That's why the flour looks so clumpy. So I gotta put a few in here to get it out of this egg batter because I need room in the egg batter. That's my child driving around in her little Bentley. So after you take it out of the flour, you dip it back in the egg. Just like that. It ain't gotta be all the way coated. Cause I done had to add two or three more eggs. And then just put it in that grease. That's it. And I'm gonna continue to do that. I might have to add more flour. Hold on. Okay. Add some more flour. It's a messy job. Yeah, I could have put on gloves, but I just keep going to wash my hands. Cause I was also on the phone talking to my cousin or two of my cousins on the phone with one, then on the phone with another. One is in Texas. I think was she on her way to Mexico? I forgot. And then another one is in Orlando. I need to turn this eye back up because you don't want your chicken just sitting in grease using my knuckles. But I can always wipe off my eye. I got it all dirty with flour. <clears throat> oh, and I need to take some of this out. I can't see with the bubbles which ones are done. I need to clean my hands real quick. Mm -hmm. This is the bowl I had it marinating in. Got it. Thick flour. And my nails, I'm still trying to get all my nails off. They hurt, y'all. They really do. I can only get a couple off at a time. be wanting some light, some dark. And it's full of chicken up on the edge. Just can't see with all the bubbles, like I said. So you can tell which one's been in longer. So this one I can go ahead and take out. Yeah. So I ran out of space here and I'm using my only two plastic big bowls that I got. Well, I'm pretty sure I got some more stored away somewhere. Well, the only two I got in the kitchen are being used right now for the egg batter and flour. Got this egg. Got this egg. Egg, egg, egg. 
Grease is getting hotter. Once it starts frying a little bit more, let's hope some of these bubbles disappear. Because they are in an egg jacuzzi right now. Alright, that looks like that. Right there. And then still got my bowl there. It's so pretty and golden. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life. Okay, ready to get my hands dirty again. Because this grease is getting louder. So remember, egg, flour, then egg again. And grease. Okay. That's if you want super crispy chicken. And again, if you're running out of egg, you ain't gotta be super coated. You know, see, I ain't got that much egg on that one. Just put a little bit. Unless you wanna just keep adding more and more eggs. Look at the bubbles rising from the egg. a little bit too high. Let me turn it off. Then back down to five. Now my homegirl takes in. Who is that a picture of? Well, she's been trying to get her cousin slash roommate out of her house. She said she had by March 31st. Hopefully no drama popping off over there. Um, so it stop, starts off with the egg. You put the raw chicken in the egg. Then flour. Okay. So, let's see, I don't got that much egg left in there. But it's still egg on here. The first coat is egg. You know? And then, slow it down. Slow it down. Stop rising. I can't see why I'm putting the chicken because all the bubbles. But I promise you, your chicken will be crispy. That's how we used to do it at Popeyes. And I was the manager at two different Popeyes for a while. I go back there and help the cook some time or when the cook is running late. And of course, they had on gloves. They were cooking other people's food. This is my food. I don't need to put on gloves for y'all. As long as there's no boogers or hair or any other paraphernalia. Finalia. I said finalia. It's under my fingernails. Okay, so now I can clean my nails for good because I will not be dipping this in batter or um, flour anymore because I have no more chicken. Mm hmm, that's egg. All them bubbles. <laughs> what you thought it was? They're damp still. What you trying to get out the fridge? Sarai and Soleil out of the kitchen, please. Away from the kitchen, please. Oh, trying to do this with one hand. Okay. I'll be back. So I gotta take some of this chicken out that's done. I lift it up to see. That one look dark and I don't expect the fork all the way through it. And she just stole another piece of chicken too. So that's a total of three. No. Nah. I'm about they mini, so it's not really like one piece of chicken. And what's the TikTok you say you saw on, um, on TikTok? What you said, your mama can't fix the food or eat it until it's done. And then have one in the kitchen and got a piece of chicken put in this pocket and then one that ate it. That chicken should have burnt the hole through his pocket. I know it was tearing up this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sure can do that back in the day. I couldn't. 
Every now and then, my mama let you taste some a leak the batter to the cornbread. I taste something, but you wouldn't get no whole piece of chicken until that food was done. And then by the time the food done, you full. Now you don't want to eat the sides. You're going to eat all that meat. Still, you can go back in there. Why is my baby crying? Q, why you didn't give her a bottle of water? Come here. I can't hear you. This is not what the lady's saying, y'all. She tried to what? She tried to use all the gas of my car, and I told her there's no gas in the car to call it stolen. Oh, she's she trying to use all your gas. Like, I don't want to use free food. You should have told her, um, ask her, did she have gas money? <laughs> and so Lay is dead serious, too, <laughs> about her Bentley. She just went and asked her, for real. Okay, so you should be able to take your sister wherever she want to go. To the stove, wherever. I need two and one third cups of hot water. That's one. Two. And I need a third. I can't find my one third and my red one, so I'm switching up colors. It don't matter. And if I didn't have a third, I just would have put a half or a little bit, you know. It don't have to be perfect. But I'm going to do this again because I'm doing two boxes. So two and one third cups of water. One more. Now a third. A third. A third cup of milk for each box. So I'm doing two boxes, so I'm gonna need one more third cup of milk. And another third. They tell you to put one tablespoon or two tablespoons of butter but you can put however much butter you want to in your food. That's like telling me to put uh, a centimeter of salt, seasoning salt, in my food. Um, I did drop the butter on the counter over here. So hopefully there's no pubic hair on the other side of this butter when I dump it in. Because I just threw it back in this thing. Mm, nope, looks good. Okay. And you dump your potato chips in there. Now the directions do tell you to put your sauce pack in before you put your chips in, but I just do it however. It don't make a difference. I mean, the only worst thing can happen is you have cheese clumps on your um, potatoes before they're all the way done. Unless you didn't put it in the milk and water and stir it and wait for it to dissolve. That's the worst thing can happen. Which it will probably happen, so. Thank you, Sarai. So they won't get off your car? That's the lace car though, Sarai. That's the lace car. See the little cheese clumps? Not so late too loud, you can't hear. <laughs> so I'll be getting everybody in trouble. She just threw the little cheese packages away from me, for me. So this is kind of similar to how you cook rice. You um, put all your little seasonings, mixtures, butter, whatever you're gonna put in there. Stir it all up and let, um, yes, we're gonna go outside. I'm taking them to the F-A-I-R but they don't know that yet. Cause I thought about the beach, but the weather's too cool today.
And then Alana decided to go home early to her dad, so she missed out again. I wasn't going to say, hey, we're going to here, just so she could be like, okay, I'll stay. You know, I'd be wanting a child to want to stay. If they don't want to stay any longer, then I'm not going to force them to. Mom, um, that's why I'm teaching them this evening. I already had it planned yesterday. The other kids in my car um, used to be black. Where did you come from? The blue. The other what in your car? The other key used to be black. But I oh, that's not your key. Your car key is fake. That's not your key, girl. That's like the key to a diary or something. Oh, it looks with my car. Don't put that in there because you're probably going to tear the ignition up. And do you have shop money to put your car in the shop to get it fixed? You got insurance? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. So anyway, you um cook this, you let it boil, and then once it starts boiling for a couple minutes, just like rice, you put it on low and cover it. So I don't have a lid for this pan, but I like cooking my um, scalloped potatoes in like a frying pan. I just like doing it that way. It's more spread out in like a thin layer instead of in a pot, you know? And it's all stacked up and thick. Mm -mm, I don't like that. So, um, for me, because I don't have a lid for this, I just cover it with tin foil when I put it on low. So I'm just doing all this to kind of get the clumps of cheese out if there's any. And those little things you guys see, those are bacon bits. Okay. And it's starting to boil. Get ready to rumble. Why I sneak is still another piece of chicken. But when I eat the chicken, I try to get a small piece. I'm just touching all the darn chicken. Okay, this is a tiny one. before sticking to the bottom. Which they're gonna stick anyway. Well, this is a non-stick pan, but you know what I mean. Like, it's gonna be a layer at the bottom. I'll go ahead and put this on low. And I have my aluminum foil to cover it. And that's it. My green beans in here, they were a little frozen, so that's how I did. I thaw out right here in this spot. Here in the freezer. I wanted corn on the cob again, but I thought I thought I had some more, but I don't. So I want to thaw out. It's only a little bit, so I might have to add a can to it. I don't know. The ice worked that perfect. I was adding a little water that I needed. Green beans. But I'm like, that ain't gonna be enough. And that was a bag, a whole bag of frozen green beans. Alright. They settling. It's still a little liquid in them. So I keep it covered until it's dry. You can eat them like it is now, they're done. But if you don't want it soupy or want any liquid on your plate, just keep it covered till they dry all the way. Y'all had to rinse the beans off like I was washing rice. They were too salty. I keep forgetting that slap your mama seasoning is very salty and I was just dashing it on there, sprinkling it like it was nothing. Like, ch -ch 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 -ch. Mm -hmm. This ain't even my plate, but I'm eating off of it my man plate he went and fixed it he used one of the kitty plates now he know i fix his plate on a glass plate no paper plates on that not for the king of the house mm -hmm. scallop potato tastes better than the last one huh somebody like, yeah they do <laughs> i'm missing a cheese pouch 
So I had got into one of the boxes, so I only had one cheese pouch. And they were so bland. Mm, little pieces. Mm, I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. I wasn't gonna take them to the fair, but I'm gonna just give Keith some money and let him go. I will go on um, next weekend. Cause I'm tired now. Now my man I got up from his nap, now I'm tired. Uh, remember those are frozen green beans and canned green beans. That's why you see some dark skin ones and light skin ones in there. Okay, so we got some biracial green beans. Toodles.